It would be an understatement to say that inadequate power supply, all marked by regularly, sorry, all marked by regular blackouts, has stifled Nigeria's economic development. It is perhaps the single most formidable obstacle to the country's economic development. But following an economic, sorry, but following an agreement with German company Siemens in July 2019 to boost power supply in Nigeria, the stage is set for the perennial power problem to become a thing of the past. Under three phase agreement, Nigerians will enjoy 7,000 megawatts of reliable power supply by the end of 2021. That will be phase one. 11,000 megawatts by the end of 2023, phase two, and 25,000 megawatts in the third phase. To put things in perspective, Nigeria's current power generation capacity is more than 13,000 megawatts, but only an average of 3,400 megawatts reliably reach consumers. In essence, the current amount of power the richest consumers will more than double by the end of next year. In addition, this will create thousands of jobs and will leapfrog the country into the next level of industrial and social development. This is how Mr. President summed up the agreement. I quote, our goal is simply to deliver electricity to Nigerian, to Nigerian businesses and homes. My challenge to CMS, our partner investors in the distribution companies, the transmission company of Nigeria and the electricity regulator is to work hard to achieve 7,000 megawatts of reliable power supplied by 2021 and 11,000 megawatts by 2023, in phases one and two respectively. After this transmission and distribution system, bottlenecks have been fixed. We will seek in the third and final phase to drive generation capacity and overall grid capacity to 25,000 megawatts. Shortly after Mr. President took a definitive step to ensure stable power supply for Nigeria in the shortest possible time, he also took another bold step to put Nigeria on the path to food sufficiency. Stem flow of illicit arms into the country and improve national security. Mr. President did this by ordering a border drill, which many have called border closure, as part of measures to secure Nigeria's land and maritime borders. The border drill could name a precise suit response involves the Nigeria Customs Service and Nigeria Immigration Service in collaboration with the Armed Forces of Nigeria, as well as the Nigeria Police Force and other security intelligence agencies.